Vasi. How are you? Yes. This is Madhvi here today with you. And yes, ma'am. Good morning. Very nice good morning to, to you. Yes. Same here. And it's my privilege to invite you here today for uh, Hotel Vikas Insights. And uh, I'm sure that everyone will uh, enjoy this. You will enjoy this and everyone will get benefited uh, with our interview. And they can also, you can impart your knowledge uh, in this hotel industry, whatever you have. And I'm yes, sure it will be beneficial to everyone. So, All right, thank you. Thank you mm -hmm. so much for your, you know, precious time you have taken out today. And to start with my first question to you is like, what do you feel is the current state of the hospitality and travel industry at the global level and national level in the United States? As far as the global level, I am thinking because of the COVID being two years, the travel industry is from like international level, it's down. But as far as the local, I think the industry is booming with the, with the travelers, like because people are still traveling. Um, they, had, they had been traveling for like last six months, a uh, little, more, little more than the year before. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, as far as the international, we haven't seen a much of international tra travelers right now. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing. Coming to the next question, uh, what future possibilities, threats, and trends do you see in the coming two to five years, specifically for the US hospitality industry? Uh, you can share any three specific threats or problems. I'm I'm believing for within three to five years, people are traveling to U.S. Um, as of a hotel industry. Um, the hotel are doing good as far as the manpower here in this United States. All. For the hotelier, we are we don't have a manpower to do a, a service uh, because of the right now we are all everybody's short-handed. Like I believe when you go traveling into like Mexico or other area, even India, we have a lot of manpower, and when people are traveling from those country they're asking for the customer service in US is the hardest thing to achieve right now because of we don't have a manpower. And that could be threatening for US, um, US hotelier, yes. All right, uh, thanks for sharing that and running out very important mm -hmm. information. Uh, coming to the yeah. next question, um, uh, would you be able to explain kindly share some of the best practice every U U.S. hotel owner and general manager can use to attract, retain the de delight customer guests? For 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 the owner and the general manager here in the the small hotelier, like I believe. It's a personal relationship, one on one, and where we have action with our customers. Those are good, good to have, um, because that culture is kind of going away. But I think it's very important to have those one on one um, with with your customers. As, as you develop, man, like when your general manager um, or whether you're a general manager or whether you're a hotel owner, when you have like personal relationship with the customer, that makes it a big difference. But owning it too many properties, you lose that culture. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, would you be able to share some specific example of success stories of hotels, you know, or any of your staff member who have created something 
you know, breakthrough result? Will you be able to share some light on that? So for us, like we are like in a health country area, we come across a lot of time that people are stranded, like, you know, they are like, a, we're on a, like a highway and we have a lot of, a uh, lot of time for ourselves since we are small property and we, uh, we, we pay a lot of attention to our customers. Like if sometimes they're, they're stranded because of, sorry, I lost you for a second. Somebody was calling. Oh. Um, sorry about that. Uh, a lot of time, like, you know, people are like they at nighttime, like if they're checking in with us, they're, they're, they're coming in because of the deer, um, they hit the deer on the road or something. And those people need a night to stay. And the next morning, sometime they need to get a rental car. So where I am myself or my maintenance man, we have several times drove them to a near town like 20 miles to go get a rental car you know oh, and amazing. yeah so we have we have done a lot of services like that and like if myself i'm here i will drive them or like a lot of time people can't get to an airport because we don't have a uber and i've drove myself to austin to take them to the airport yeah Last year with the storm happening, we had a lot of, you know, a lot of people are stranded here with the ice storm where we were able to keep them in house and also made sure that they were able to stay in. So I had to close my incoming more reservation through the Best Western, but I was able to extend their stay and, you know, have them place to stay and keep them warm. You have taken really good care of your guests, you know, you know, very precise and very nicely so that mm -hmm. they experience it so good for you that yes. you know, you're genuinely mm -hmm. helping them out. And that's yeah. amazing. It's really amazing work you are doing. Thank you so much. Yeah. Definitely yeah. the guests would be delighted with it. Thank yeah, you we for I mean it. I just I'm one-on-one -on -one with the part of my, my guest, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that, that will make them more, you know, happy and uh, you know, they feel, feel satisfied. Like absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And they feel yeah, I have safe so, so when many they are them. there. Yeah, so many of them have personally taken my cell number. They, they'll call me back. Like, uh, they're from California. They were stranded like five miles from here. And then I made sure I saved them a room. And then I told them, I reassured them, I'll make sure you're safe and you're you're staying with me until you can get on the road. There's several of them has taken my number and they call me like to check on me once in a while. Now, how are we doing? Yeah. But that's really amazing. That's really amazing. Uh, wonderful work you're doing. And I'm sure this is what, you know, they can refer more guests to you and they will also like yeah. to revisit it again and again. And if every hotelier will do that, definitely their business will uh, expand. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Super, super. Come to my next question to you. How will hotel brands compete with OTAs, new brands, Airbnb, and other travel uh, startups? I am thinking that is becoming a little bit difficult for hotel brand because uh, the OTA and um, Airbnb are taking a big toll on the hotel. Either the all the hotel brand need to come together and just do their own reservation. Otherwise, it's a big threat because I, I've been noticing and I've been seeing even like when the large amount of people, like if, if there are 10 to 12 people traveling, they rather just do the Airbnb because they're, you know, like kids traveling nowadays, they rather stay in the Air, Airbnb when they're traveling with a bunch of their friends rather than staying in a hotel. Because I feel like they don't, they don't wanna dress up and to meet their friends at the lobby they rather 
we all together in one living room. I've noticed that a lot. So okay. it's a pretty big threat. Yeah. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And my last but not the least, the question goes here. Mm -hmm. uh, any mm -hmm. innovation technology upgrade that you are implementing? I think that any uh, the new technology is very important. We are going to, um, right now at this point, we're moving to um, iCloud for, for, for our guest experience rather than checking in on the software. We're going to iCloud and that kind of gives you, like most of the new travelers, new youngster, they can text you all day long rather than pick up the phone and talk to you. So the new system we're having in our hotel in a couple of weeks, um, like they are able to text you from their room or before they're checking in, or they should be able to text you. All we have to do is send them one text and saying, are you, if, you, if they're gonna be sleeping in, so if they wanna check out late, they'll just have to text us back. Yeah, I'll text. Uh, I want to sleep in. So then definitely you can charge them extra amount of money, but they don't have to get out of bed and tell you they're checking out late. So that is a new technology we're developing. And also <coughs> the, lot of the, um, a lot of the big hotel has done, done where they have the mobile app. I am not so big on that right now, but I'm thinking two to three years we might have to consider that as well because a lot of people don't want to have to face, they want to just come in and then they're, they'll be able to check on, on their Apple phone or their smartphone so they can get a key through the, through the locks and then they just check in through that. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you so much for your uh, wonderful sharing today. And mm -hmm. I'm really thankful with my team, the whole team, um, Hotel Vika's uh, team. And uh, thank you so much. Uh, we thank look forward you. for more inputs uh, in our next time. And uh, definitely yeah. it will be helpful to other hoteliers to uh, look into their area of work and they can get uh, more information and they can uh, take suggestions and uh, stuff like that no to improve their guests. Experience. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Once again nice for your time. You guys. Yeah. Same yeah. year. Bye bye. Yeah.